And I actually have one real gold one. Because I like it. It's so dainty and so sweet. Hello and welcome back. I hope you're all having a good day today. We got done with our 16 pound broken mismatch bag. We're moving on to the next things I want to talk about with y'all. Today it is cloisonne. Cloisonne is a technique created designs on metal vessels with colored glass paste placed within closures made of copper and bronze wires. The cloisonne technique originated in Egypt prior to 1800 BC. They used to use gold ornaments inlaid with small pieces of genuine gemstones. Then it switched to ancient technique of metal work that has to do with the metal held in place by separate metal strips or wires. Normally it was gold, but now, like I say, they use the copper and the bronze wires. And so, you know, they're not as expensive to purchase. So that's what we have here. You know, if you want to know more, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you a few of the items and talk about them. I don't know a whole lot. I know some. I know it's beautiful and I've collected it. There is a resale value in the pieces. Um, some may be worth it more than others. We're going to go over these pieces and you can get a little idea of my collection, which I will most likely have some of these pieces up on the eBay store for sale. We have a variety of necklaces here or plastic what would you call fashion but the beads in between seem to have the style that you're looking for of the cloisonne there's one piece this is on some kind of cordage mixed metal closure spring ring clasp but look at the peacock oh my goodness those designs are incredible let's go close i can catch it in the light so you can see it good it's beautiful but the back is plain that leads me to believe this is like a remake or you know, something newer made to look like it. But it's still very, very gorgeous and beautiful. And I love it. Those are the necklaces. Oh, these beads are kind of incredible right here on this little one. And it says it is 925, which I have not tested this one. It does say China, but it does say 925. But this will be worth testing to see. Because if so, this, this will possibly have a nice resale in the market value. Do I love all these pieces? Yeah, I love them all. Am I trying to hoard them? No, I want to let them go, but I'm still learning about them myself. So even though I am conveying what I believe to be the pieces and what I've read on Google and all, I'm just sharing a little bit of, in my own words, it, can't, it ain't verbatim. It's just fly off the seat of your pants type thing. So, <laughs> so I mean, it comes in, you know, like your bracelets right here quite a few of these these are probably some of my favorites right here I don't believe they're gold per se but I believe that the style is higher quality than then perhaps these show you them but they, they're nice they're still very lovely these these seem a little bit lower quality possibly you know magnetic as you can see but if you look at the details it's enamel inlaid with the wires so this is why I kind of kept all this in a group. I may sell a whole lot for one money. You never know with me. I do things like that. So, <laughs> but these right here are special because they're even designed on the inside, as you can see. It's so lovely. Look at that. And it's on both sides and it goes all the way around the whole circumference. Black enamel with greens and purples and blues. And you can see the incredibleness of it you can and all all these little ones right here are just so gorgeous i love them all i will show you my absolute favorite out of this whole thing and that would be this one and it isn't really because of mm, the colors it is but it has a clasp so it will open and if you have a bigger wrist you can wear this kind <laughs> and so that that draws me to it it attracts me to it so that's one reason i love this one because there's no way I'm getting my hand in that. <laughs> there's a, a fish we have here. Trinket boxes. I want to say these might even be pendants. I believe this one is broken. I believe it is missing the top that made it into a pendant like this per se. That's gone. So this one is a little worse for the wear but it's still so so pretty. It's beautiful look. So lovely. Cobalt blue enamel inside. On, with the hinge but this one you can put a jump ring through it and hang it on a necklace 
but it has the same enamel inlay, more of a turquoisey color, perhaps, teal. I love the shape. And a little heart. <laughs> yep, same cobalt blue inside. It has a jump ring. It can be hung on a necklace. This may be gold plated or gold filled, but I don't believe it's real gold, but nevertheless, this is my Chloe's and A collection. A, a pin, brooch, and there's other pendants over here. This one's pretty. A buckle or a embellishment. You could probably, you know, hang it on a necklace if you wanted to. Yeah, you could. Yep. Here's one that I, is on a necklace. Let's look at that one up close. I mean, this is probably modern, reproduction. However, you can open it and it has the sky blue enamel inside, as you can very well see. I get excited about jewelry. The reason I chose Cloisonne today was before we did the 16 pound review, we did a review of some of my favorite jewelry that starts with an A and that would be the amber. We did the B, which would be the Bakelite. And today we're doing the Cloisonne. So that is my train of thought. Hopefully tomorrow I can come up with uh, something I wanna review that starts with the letter D. There is quite a bit here, as you can see. I got some separate beads that came from a bracelet. These are so great. The turtle, look how great it is. So great. And the beads are as well. This could be a crafter type thing. Of course, there's many, many necklaces over here. This one is an Avon, and I believe that it is Chloe's in a style. It does say Avon on the actual side you clamp the closure to. Avon, Avon right there. So, I mean, this will be easy to look up to value it by itself. We have a cute little pair of earrings over here. They're cats. They're so sweet, I love them. That checker pattern, I'm not really sure, but that is, I believe, a uh, brand but I have not figured it out as of yet. So if you all know, please leave me a comment below and therefore I even know who stayed this long into the video. Yay! Glasswork beads, cloisonne beads, either gold tone or gold plated. And it's a wrap bracelet. I can wear this, I love it, I think it's great. This rose, I believe gold filled. But I'm gonna get my loopy loop and I will check it out and I'll let you know. Stand by. Yes, 12 karat gold filled on the little clasp. So I can dig out or get out a gold filled chain. Basically that's what I want to tell you about cloisonne. You can go and look it up and see if you can learn some stuff and you know, leave me a comment and you, you know, teach me. But this one here, I didn't, I failed to mention it. It is actually stones, the black stones. I did test them earlier and these are, this is a stones real stone necklace and it is ice cold so i know that this is either glass or stones i tested it with my pressy presidium gem tester and yes this necklace is stone so it has some value just for that very reason right there other than it also has the cloisonne i could have possibly reviewed anything in this shoe tote because it is all the letter c this is all a bag of celestial stuff sun moon stars, a whole array of different things. I believe there's silver in here, stones. I mean, I could bring out something and let you see it. A pair of earrings. They're great. They're so great. But this is another letter C, but it wasn't my favorite. The cloisonne is my favorite C letter jewelry. Look at these. They got some sparkle clip-ons. No mark that I see. They're so great, y'all. They're fabulous fantastic kind of word you want to put to them they are so substantial but they're not real heavy they just make a statement <laughs> and i like that statement these will be on the ebay store real soon a bag of sun moon star celestial i have chokers a bag of coral <laughs> it's all coral every piece in here is coral go out just a little some clairs this is a mixture of different artists and, and makers with the letter C. This bag as well. They're more of a singular piece, whereas this was all coral, all of it. So, like this has Chubby Chico Charms bracelet, Christina collection, 
Coldwater Creek and so forth. That is another way I store jewelry. The letter C, this has some neat things. It may have some coral in it as well that I haven't even, yep. There's a piece of coral right here. Ooh, ooh sight. It's gorgeous. So beautiful. I mean gorgeous. And it does have the coral mark right there. Zoom in. in. Yes. Coral right there. Lucite. Vintage. Beautiful. So that can go in this bag. <laughs> I need to do some organization. And I need to get a lot of this stuff listed. Here's some coach. It's all coach. Um, Carol Lee. Another artist. Designer. Carol Lee. There's another Coldwater Creek bag, so I need to add some of what's down in here in here. This is part of my sorting process. It sort of has a rhyme to the reason and a little bit of um, organization that helps me with when I want to list, pulling stuff down. But I have A through Z. Some of them I have letters that have more than one, a couple boxes of C, a couple boxes of A. But this is my way of sorting and keeping my jewelry organized knowing what I have and it works for me I have one more thing to show you under the letter C and that is my cameo collection I believe most of this is costume I don't believe it's old I think it's a remakes but but still lovely nevertheless cute little pair of earrings some pendants some are Avon some are just unmarked this one says, I think, gold filled. Stand by. And it even has a mark. This is AJC 120 12 karat gold filled. So this one is a brand. So sweet. <laughs> and I actually have one real gold one with a real gold chain. It's the daintiest one in here. It's my favorite because <laughs> I like it. It's so dainty and so sweet. I don't know if this part is real gold, but I know the chain is. It's been tested. It is marked. Actually marked. So the chain is 14 karat. I'm not real sure about the, the pendant itself. I love it. And I have quite a bit. Most of it's, like I say, fashion jewelry, per se. Some Avon. This is another one of my favorites. I think that's gilded metal. I believe it's a Western Germany piece, filigree style. But I believe I have covered the cloisonne. A few other groups of jewelry under the letter C. Got to get to work on listing today. So that's my next leg of the race today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything you want to say, comment down below. We'll see you on the next one. See you tomorrow. So long.